kicks it forward towards Rancourt, who chests it down towards James okay. Clark. Clark picks it up, back to Rancourt, back to Clark. Nice hit to play, back to Rancourt, chance. And oh, our debut, Stan Rancourt opens the scoring for Bohemians. 2-1-2 two -one is with uh, James Clark, really good interplay. And the Estonian international announces himself to the League of Ireland with his first goal in the famous red and black. It's 1-0 to Bohemians after five minutes. Absolute fabulous play. First ball into him, chest it down, lays it off. Little one-two, another little one-two. In and goal, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And the composure, just to lift it over to him, make it 1-0. It's a great start, absolute great start for both. Incredible stuff. A sign from Flora Tallinn, he was on loan at another Estonian club who I can't read my own handwriting so we're going to leave that one out there but he scored 18 goals on loan with them last season was or something that's like the one yeah, that's yeah. the one on your handwriting the, better than yeah, mine the parent club. here we go a lovely interplay with James Clark spread the ball through but the composure there just to lift it over the cable is absolutely brilliant goal absolutely. great step what a way to start to, as a Bohemian player big boots to fell Jonathan Afalabi the top scorer here last season He's off in Belgium now. And you can see where he points exactly where he wants the ball. Great ball back into him. Great composure. What a start. Morhen. Into the feet of Mali. And he scored a great goal against Bosses. Great ball towards. Oh, it's a goal for Sligo Rovers. Oh, oh it's a. Came back off the goalkeeper, cannoned off. I think it's Reese Hutchinson who came up from left back. I'm not entirely sure, but a fortuitous enough goal, but some good running, good hard running from Sligo. And they're on level terms. Yeah, it's good play down the left-hand side. They keep getting in down behind the right full part. So it'll be interesting to see now, did it come back off the keeper or did it ricochet up and in? It kind of came from nowhere, Hutchison. And yeah, but that, that target and uh, ball is right full all the time. It's just a ball in down the side of him. It did come back off. I think it came off Rob Cornwall first. Cornwall and then back off and into the net. Kind of goal the post conceded a lot of last year. Yeah, but you, you can see, look, static, just plays it right inside of in, inside Bart, and yeah, comes back off Carwell and then hits him. Well, it's in. one all, Sligo won't complain. Good play from, I think it was Conor Malley who held the ball up and played that ball in behind. It's, it's against the run of play as well. I mean, both are, you know, well on top. Got the goal, early goal, and start dictating, and all of a sudden then they're, they're back to one all. Well, Declan Dubai won't be happy with that concession. Bowes on the front foot again. Well cut out by the Sligo player. Flores, Rooney. Yeah. Well, everyone stay forward from Sligo. Ball into the box. Goalkeeper gets a fist well. to it. James Clark's going to try and get there, but he's beaten to it. And Hartman does really well. Hartman, Hartman. Great fight. Freeze Hartman. Oh. And it's 2 1 to Sligo Rovers on the cusp of half time. The ball just squirmed underneath goalkeeper Kasper Jaroska. And from 1 0 down, Sligo are going to take a 2 1 lead in at the half time break. Bows have just got to sleep in the second half of this first half. They have a really, really good goal. You know, he's cruised by two, three players into the box and managed to cut back inside and have a strike. You know, with a really good goal in Sligo's point of view. You can see he's just gone by one, two, checks back in. He's nearly gone by three or four players. You know, without a tackle going in, without a block going in. It's a poor defensive goal to give away. Yep. He just jinxed by him. Cuts back inside. It's a lovely goal. Defender just needs to come across and, and keep showing him towards the line, keep him out that way, rather than come back in on his left foot. It's a poor goal to give away, but a great goal on Sligo's point of view. Yeah. And Flores. Oh, and a great save by Ed McGinty. It just bounced up off the turf and he turned it over to Bar. Caught it well. Excellent save, excellent save. Great free kick. You can see everyone thought he was going to go over the wall, up and down, but he managed to deceive and go down the side where the keeper is. And great save. You see, Ricochet's off him over the bar. Well, it's exactly where Sligo want to be. All their men behind the ball, looking up. And Bowes trying to play out from the back. That was a chance. Just a poor execution, a poor ball. Clark, he's come very deep looking for the ball. Gives it back to McManus. Paddy Kirk. Kirk looks up. Looks for Ockerson. It's behind him. Heinacker gets there. It's the Sligo fans who are cheering now. Every header, every clearance. A really good start to the season for them if they can hold on for these three points. But James Clark has other ideas. He looks up. Finds Miller. Good Miller, good feet. Yeah, go. Dylan. Dylan Connolly. Connolly looking for James Clark. Clark header! There you go. Two Four minutes into injury time. James Clark rises highest in the box. And heads home from Dylan Connolly's cross. It's 2-0 at Daily Mount. 
and Bowes have maybe rescued us from the fire out here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, as we were saying earlier, it's a try to get Dylan on the ball, try to get a good ball into the box. You know, you can see it's played out to him, left one on one, great delivery in, and, you know, fantastic run into the box to score the goal. Good play for it's Miller good. to set it up for yeah. Connolly. Connolly, great ball. And great ball into the box, and he'll always bang on times. A great header. Yeah. Great header. And probably got out of jail a little bit. There's still a few minutes left, so we will go and win it. Yeah. Three minutes left on the, the clock, according to the original injury time, plus whatever stoppage time the ref might allow. John Russell looks a little bit stunned. Into that final minute of added time added on. We'll see if there's any more. Derry 2 1 up on Drada. Pats 1 up on Galway. And level in the other two games. And we're heading towards a draw here. And this is something spectacular in the dying seconds from either side. Poor game, really, overall. Poor quality. And Rob Harvey brings it all to a close. Polite applause, really, is the reaction of full time. Yeah, we've got our jail. You know, well, first game of the season. You'll take a point. Performances aren't going to be great. We are 2 1 down for the long spells in the game, and probably the second best team. And if we'll get away with the points, you'd be happy. Those are not happy at the amount of time added on. We hit seven minutes, and the full time whistle went. Sligo. Sligo I mean, they came here, they would have taken the points, yeah. but the way things went. You know, it's a game that they've dropped two points. Definitely, you dropped two points. I don't think it was much in the second half, but either team, Sligo just looked in control, defended very well. Could be a bit of a long season for both teams. For both teams, definitely. Yeah, definitely. The goals they both conceded tonight, you know, it's been poor. 